All right, here's what I got for a jacket. Does that work for you guys? I'm Max, founder and CEO of State's Title. I came out to Santa Cruz mostly to surf. And through that, my eyes were open to the wonder of what was going on in San Francisco, and I haven't left since. At the time I started Evolve, I think I was 24, 25 years old. I was uh, super naive, super ignorant, and I think those things enabled me to actually dive in and start a business. Why did I choose to start a company again? I feel like uh, you should ask my wife, uh, and you might get two different answers. You know, I, I'm not somebody who is a serial entrepreneur. After the Evolve experience, I was pretty burnt out. I actually didn't think I was going to start another company. And, I, you know, I just got sucked back into it. I found a problem that I became obsessed with. Hey, Vivian, can you ask them to stop unloading the dishwasher? The first home that I purchased and the experience that I had with the title company that gave rise to State's title was before I met my wife, actually. I went through this incredibly cumbersome, complex process of sitting at the closing table, having them walk me through hundreds of pages of complicated paperwork, initially a bunch of things I didn't understand. I was just shocked that that experience didn't have any of the same technology or analytics that so many other parts of the real estate market had. What were the conversations like with your wife when you told her you wanted to dive back in? <laughs> oh, uh, again, this is one where I think you should ask her, and she'd probably give you a different, a different take on it. Everybody who knew the industry as we were getting started told us that this was not going to work. I mostly just ignored it. I don't think there's any other rational explanation for how you can take advice given to you by smart people who are knowledgeable about the industry they're in and completely disagree with them and not really be able to have a lot of rationale or logic to justify why you're disagreeing other than pure stubbornness. You're killing me here. <laughs> I do not find time to surf. The first time I went surfing since my son was born in August of 2016 was this summer when we took uh, a short vacation in Southern California. My wife, is she's an incredible person. She is uh, a partner to me in everything that I do. And we approached it fairly practically. We sat down and discussed what this would mean for our schedules, for the stress level, uh, for both of us, for what it would mean in terms of sacrifice uh, to our family. And ultimately, she said, uh, I do remember this discussion. Uh, in a bit more detail than I thought. She said she wanted me to do what makes me happy. So I did. Thanks a lot, Charles. <laughs> if I were to imagine a world where I could rest comfortably taking some meaningful amount of vacation, where I could turn my brain off for more than 15 minutes. I would say that it would be after we have transformed the process of buying a home into something that you can do at the click of a button where you understand everything transparently and it is an enjoyable experience. Um, no, I'm good. Don't ask me any more questions about my wife.